doing well today. Today we're going to look at how to stream the audio output from Cubase uh, into OBS so you can make YouTube videos with Cubase or even stream on Twitch or other platforms like that. So if I hit the space bar right now, you'll see you guys aren't going to get any audio output right now. So that's probably why you guys are here. Um, so to fix this, we're just going to go to Google and type in replugs. And we're going to click on this here. I'll also link this in the description. Um, and we're going to click on this link here. And basically what this is, it's a plug-in bundle um, from the DAW Reaper. And it has one plug-in that's going to allow us to stream Cubase's audio into OBS. So download this bundle just like you would any other plug-in bundle. And then once you have that done, we're going to come to Cubase. And come to our mixer and go to our stereo out channel and we're going to add the re stream standalone plugin uh, which came in that bundle so once we load that up on the master um, it will look like this and the only thing we're going to change here uh, to keep it simple is we're going to select send to audio here instead of receive audio and we're going to come to the drop down and choose local broadcast now that's all we need to do with Cubase, we're done. Now we're gonna go into OBS. So once we're on OBS, we're gonna to go to the source section here. And we're gonna click on the plus and add an audio input capture. And you can just leave it as default or name it, whatever you'd like. So you can see it's recording my voice, voice twice now. Um, so we're just gonna mute this input here because this audio input capture by default is going to capture your voice, whatever mic you have connected. Um, so now to get Cubase's audio, we're going to click on the cog here, and then we're going to select filters. Now we're going to open this up, and you're going to see that there's no filters in there. So we're going to come down to the left, hit the plus, select VST2 plugin. You can name it whatever you like. This might take a second. It's a little, it's a little glitchy here, as you can see. All right, now it worked. You can choose from the drop down here. That restream standalone, and we don't really need to do anything. It's already done. You don't need to change anything in here. So you can exit out of that. Now we got that added. We can close out. Go back to Cubase. And you can see. The audio is now playing to OBS for Cubase, which is awesome. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you know a better way to do this, uh, let me know. This is also my first video for this channel. I plan to do more. Uh, any feedback from me is also greatly appreciated. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching.